So here's a new motor XT2405 2400 kV from King Kong LDARC. Uh, this one I purchased from Banggood because I thought it'd be a good one to check out and test uh, so we could compare it to the other budget motors. So this one's a budget motor, it's about 1293 I think, 13 bucks. So for its size, 2405, it's a pretty good price actually. And the one thing that was interesting is that this one's made by Sunny Sky. I've had uh, Sunny Sky motors before, you know, and we all remember the good old 2204, 2300 kV motors from back in the day. They've always been pretty good motors. So some good expectations from this motor made by Sunny Sky. And it comes in this nice box. I guess you can repurpose it, use it for something else. Put some screws, dentures, anything. So, And it comes with this motor guard, kind of nice. If anybody wants to use that, it feels pretty strong, so that should actually protect the motor quite well actually it's a it's good plastic and uh, we'll weigh that just if you guys want to know how much this would add to the weight of the motor and that's about two grams 1.9 grams so if you need protection that's it so the motor just comes in this bubble wrap and uh, they do have a uh, as you can see here, they do have CCW and CW rotation. So the CCW rotation is the standard thread and it'll have a silver uh, night lock. And as far as the motor is concerned, it's got a mixture of, uh, of the new features and uh, some of the traditional features. So for instance, the base, it's a full base and it's got the 16 by 19 mounting pattern uh, it does have a fully hollow shaft and that looks to be a four millimeter shaft so we'll have a look at that and see what kind of uh, uh, bearings they're using uh, it is retained by a circlip as you can see there and you can also see it's multi-strand wire uh, according to the Banggood product uh, description, the magnets are N52 and they are curved magnets. So for this price point, uh, it's got a lot of the good features. It doesn't say what the aluminum the armature is made out of, but uh, uh, Sunny Sky does report uh, on uh, on their motor line. Uh, they use 7075 aluminum, but don't know if that's what they're using here. Uh, for this budget price, uh, that would be nice, uh, but they, it, it could be 6061, so not, not sure, they're not saying. Alright, so let's see what it weighs. So it does come with a rather short wire. These days everybody's including at least 150 millimeters, 120 millimeters of wire. So they're only giving us about 80 millimeters here. So not enough uh, to reach a center mounted ESC. So so that's one of the uh, criticisms, not a big deal, you could always splice them, but it's always nice to have the long wires. So let's see what it weighs with these 80 millimeters of wire. And that says 31.2, so pretty good weight. Uh, so if we cut that to 50 millimeters, we'll probably knock off maybe half a gram. So, so the motor is actually around uh, 30.7 or so. So that's the amount of wire that we would have to remove to make the wires uh, 50 millimeters in length. So let's see what that is. Uh, 0.6 grams. So pretty good weight actually for this size motor. And so here's the motor on a magnifying glass. So you can see nice finish all throughout. And there you can more or less see the air gap and the arc magnets. So very nice for a budget motor and that's a fully hollow shaft all the way through. So that's good. Pretty nice winding so let's pull out this uh, bell. I already removed the circlip so. Bell comes off pretty easy and there you can see the magnets. Not that chunky magnets, they're uh, 
a little bit on the thin side actually but they are N52 magnets so that's the one piece shaft it is a uh, magnetic so it's uh, probably just hardened steel and there's the stator pretty nice windings it is multi-strand wire and let's measure the stator height so it's just a tiny hair under five millimeters but just a little bit so it, yeah it is five millimeters nominal just a little bit under so sometimes they they're over this one's just a little bit under and those are the good bearings those are four by nine by four so it should be pretty durable so not bad for a budget motor to have those uh, beefy bearings very nice made motor overall so let's see what it can do on the thrust stand and compare it to other motors uh, just doing a simple calculation on the cylinder volume for a 2405 it's roughly about 2453 cubic millimeters and compared to a 2306 the 2306 has about 2491 so the 2306 has a little bit more volume of uh, wire so more material as far as copper and iron uh, so the 2306 in theory should have a bit more torque and a bit more power than this motor not a lot because they're almost the same so not a big difference uh, as far as the amount of material between the 2306 and the 2405 so most of the difference in performance is going to come from the actual configuration since this one has a shallower height stator and typically the taller stator would perform better so it's going to be interesting to see how the wider stator will compare against the 2306s of the similar KV so this one's a 24 um, 2400 KV uh, so I did test a few of the 2306 2450 and 2400 KV so they're on the channel so that, that would be a pretty good comparison to make uh, so you you know you guys can go ahead and um, pull those uh, Excel spreadsheets or just on the video and there's always the thrust table but overall I think this motor should do pretty well on light props like the five inch props should be perfect for those props because it's plenty big to drive those props so and I think that's what I'm hearing the initial comments from people using these uh, they do like them so we'll see how they do on the thrust stand and again a lot of times the thrust stand results they don't translate uh, well all right so let's put on the thrust stand and see what it can do
All right, so let's have a look at the thrust test results for the King Kong 2405 2400 kV motor. Uh, this one came in at uh, 2420, so pretty close to the stated kV, so that's pretty good. So based on that kV, I went ahead and tested on 3S, 4S, and 5S with the light 5-inch props. Pretty respectable numbers, 1382 at 35.5. So right away we can see the motor is actually quite efficient, and as I mentioned on the breakdown the volume of the stator is very similar to a 2306 so that would be a good motor to compare these results with so for the 5043 1438 again at very reasonable amps keep in mind that these are static so they're going to be exaggerated they're going to show high amps so the equivalent uh, in-flight amps would be around 40 percent lower so as you can see that's that's pretty reasonable amp usage and so what i'm noticing here if you compare it to other 2306s is that the results are very close to 2306 for the 5-inch props but as you go larger diameter props the results get a little bit uh, closer and this one just uses slightly uh, so as the propeller size increases to 6 inch uh, the performance actually goes just slightly below a 2306 the amp uh, usage goes a little bit higher and, and the overall uh, thrust a little bit lower but not by much and it's still pretty close i think so nothing to be concerned about i think it's still very good performance for six inch but it, it's pretty interesting to see that there's a transition point from the five inch to the six inch where the lower load of the five inch props the motor is quite efficient uh, more so than a 2306 and as you increase the prop diameter or uh, perhaps even with this high load uh, props you know like the more aggressive five inch props the stator size shows a little bit more being a short stator only five millimeter tall but still overall should be a very good choice uh, maybe for a quad where weight is not much of a concern but considering the price i think it's a good price to performance ratio so there you go that's another good option for those of you that want to get a budget motor this one seems to be a good choice hope you find the data useful and until the next video thank you for watching